It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. First, let's just get a little history on you. Where where did you where did you kind of get your start? When did entrepreneurship become a idea or a thing for you? What was that progression like? And and kind of like take us through. And I'm sure I'll interrupt you about a thousand times on the way there. Yeah, no worries, man. Well, man, first off, thank you so much for having me on. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, so there's, I mean, I man, I can go so many different ways here, but really, just to get uh, the what, what were you doing when you were three? Let's start. Let's start man, with. Dude, kidding, I was probably <laughs> eating worms now. Um, which that you know, I have done that, but um. Yeah, you, was it, you know, wait, wait, wait. Was, was it a dare or a bet or was it a curiosity thing? Where'd you, you where'd know, you I used to that? do it uh, in like third, fourth, fifth grade. Yeah. And I would do it um, to, uh, um, you know, like for a dollar. Yeah. Um, yeah. For your, you know, like your teddy bear, things like that. Get, so, a, get a good reaction and win a prize. Yeah. Yep. You know, good I love doing that. You know, I, you know, trade. I like seeing people's reactions and kind of winning the prize. Um, and now the funny thing, I bet I bet people are like, oh my God, Ryan's crazy. And now those same bastards are eating fucking crickets. You know, <laughs> go figure. Go yeah, figure. yeah. Yeah. They weren't that good. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it came from, you know, just come from like a normal kind of middle class family. Um, my parent, you know, my mom, you know, my dad was a teacher. Um, he had a pressure washing business in high school, but it didn't get that, that big. It, you know, wasn't that crazy. Kind of went away. My mom was in the education space as well. Um, definitely heavily um, educated, you know, from the school. Um, I mean, hard not to be when your parents are both in the schools. It's like, yeah, they you know, hammer that home. Degrees, they hammer that home. You know, PhD for my mom. You know, like there was this constant education, and you know, I always remember that that that, that was a big staple in the house of like that was that was success. You know, was getting educated, having the degree getting that good job with the good benefits, et cetera. You know, so I always remember that, that that was a kind of a, you know, a picture that was painted for success. Um, and then in terms of like when I'm gonna, I'm, this, started, this is like interruption, yeah. maybe number two already, but you, <laughs> you say it as if now you question it. Like as, as if you're like, they were pushing it, but like you kind of, you didn't say, but, but I felt a, but in there, is there a, but in there? Well, you know, not as big of a butt as you might uh, think, um, but I think that they they also just and you know just believe that themselves too, right? So like mm -hmm. they didn't really push that too crazy, um, but that was you know you can tell that that was a belief system, and not, you know not yeah. just my parents, but you know my brother did this you know you know same thing, bouchers, masters did the thing, um, and then you know others around that, but they. So you, that was like their vision of success, right? And they didn't yep. really paint that heavily, but it was just painted by my nature there, you know, just by, you know, just organically. Yeah, but yeah. I always remember that I just didn't like it. Like even back then, you know, I didn't really like it for, you know, for some reason it just it kind of rubbed me the wrong way where it just seemed boring. It seemed mundane. And, um, and also to add on to that, you know, I wasn't good at school, you know, you know, um, didn't speak well, dyslexic, um, dyslexic, um, just, had a bad time with memory, et cetera. And, and I didn't really care a whole lot about it. So, you know, I didn't put a lot of effort into it. I was going to say, it's, it's hard when you just don't give a shit because if, if even today, if there's something I don't give a shit about, going to have a real hard time yeah. succeeding at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I thought I could go play football too. You know, I was pretty good at football. Um, Which play? I, um, I played um, corner, free safety, and I played a little bit of like slot receiver. And, um, but, you know, I was such a rascal growing up, you know, as I got into high school, um, you know, I kept getting in trouble and I just was, you know, just a rascal, you know, I, you know, I wasn't making good decisions, things like this. Um, but I always knew that I didn't like that, that, that version of life. And, but even early on too, like kind of that whole, like same time frame, maybe like middle school and, you know, things like that is I always wanted to, uh, wear a suit to work, you know, to work or like, you know, like have a job where like, I just was like, a had power a suit. job. You wanted a yeah. power job. Yeah. I was like, you know, like whether that was sales or something like, you know, you know, I wanted something that, you know, where I was successful in kind of a white shirt with a nice tie. Um, you know, like the picture of that just, yeah. It's a vision of success. Yeah. I always remember that. Um, and I did that with sales and I thought that that was kind of a success thing when I was in my early twenties, um, was, you know, I was making money, I was doing sales, I was dressing, like that um and now what you know what's funny is 
I don't ever wear that, and I hate wearing that. You know, I'm wearing gym shorts all the time and things like that. But um, that's kind of Weird. early on there. Hey, what's up, business nerd? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a heck of a lot watching that episode. Do me a favor, subscribe right down here. And if you really like what you saw, you got more goods right here. Check out this one or check out this one and do this. Go subscribe. Appreciate you. Work smarter, work harder. Go earn yourself some pride. Catch you on the next one.